Good afternoon and welcome to the Flair Stadium here in Dewsbury for the start of the 2024 Betfred Championship season with the Halifax Panthers away to the Dewsbury Rams. The Forney War is over for the 1895 Cup and it's all down to the league season here and in for Liam Finn back at his former club with his hometown club hoping to get the best possible start. Let's go through the teams first and foremost, the Halifax Panthers. We line up number one, James Woodburn Hall at fullback. Wings, number five, James Saltonstall. And two, Greg Eden. Centres, three, Zach McComb. And 17, Ben Tibbs. Half back, six and seven, Louis Jufre and Joe Keyes, who captains the side. Front row, birthday boy, Adam Tangata, who turns 33 today. Tom Inman at uh, Hooker wears 20. And Kevin Leroy wears 31. Back row for Fax, 11-12. Ben Cavanagh and Matty G and 19 Connor Davies locks up the scrum against his former club and against his brother as well Curtis on the other side on the bench for the Panthers though number 23 Gareth Widdop 13 Jacob Fairbank 15 Ryan Lannan and 21 Ollie Davies with Jack Smith number 32 on Jewel Reg from Leeds Rhinos 18th man and the home side with a a couple of X Fax players in their ranks. They line up number four, Bailey O'Connor at fullback, two, Perry Whiteley, and five, Lewis Carr on the wings, with three, Ollie the Greensmith, time. and 22, the Marcus season Walker season at centres. Half backs for Dewsbury. Number nine, Jacob Hookham, and seven, Callum Turner. Front row for the Rams, eight, Jimmy Beckett, 20, Curtis Davies, X Fax man playing against his brother. Apologies if I get those names wrong this afternoon. And number 29, Jack Bibby. Here's the other prop for Dewsbury. 12, Matt Garside against his former club. 23, Bailey Dawson. And number 13, Louis Collinson lock up the scrum. On the bench for Dewsbury, the 31, Kieran Rush. 28, Jack Billington. 17, Jackson Walker. And 27, Joe Hurd. With number one, Owen Restall as 18th man for Dale Ferguson's side. Referees, Kevin Moore. As we get ready for kickoff, Sunday 17th of March, Championship round one as Keys kicks it deep and left, spilled backwards by Hookham, not a confident start from the Rams, but it's a tough defence there from Tangatara and Kavanagh as Halifax will try and keep Dewsbury locked in there, bigot there from Matty G looking to build from his hat-trick performance last week. Jews were worth the ball left. Nice defence again from Tangatar with Inman down low and McComb helping up top. As Jews were really struggling to get out their own 20, they will do now, but it's a good shot there from Kavanagh. Helped out by Leroy, finished off by Connor Davies. Big run forward there from Jimmy Beckett. That's a better run there from the Jews man. Takes Jews past the 40. Last tackle here for the home side as Hookham kicks it deep but already three men waiting for it as Greg Eden spills it backwards both sides not looking too confident from the kicks Woodburn all recovers and takes the first tackle of the game for the Panthers here's Eden collects it nicely this time but he's met by three Dewsbury men who are putting down on the 30 on the short pitch here Inman finds Salt and Stahl Surveys the defensive line, but just takes it hard and straight. He's put down just past the 40 by Beckett. Inman goes left to Laroya. He only knows one way. He's forward. He takes Halifax past the halfway line. They struggle to put him down. The Huckerman, Curtis Davis. Inman wears the blind side. Kavanagh steps back on his left. Well put down, though, by Curtis Davis. Last tackle here for Fax. Inman finds Keys. Puts it high, looking for the chase of Tibbs. But taken confidently enough by Bailey O'Connor, but it's a decent set for Halifax. Trapping Dewsbury on their own 10 metre line. And the first penalty of the game goes through the home side. Offside for the Panthers. And that's a really relieving penalty because Halifax were putting some real defensive pressure on this Rams side but they'll start to the set off on their own 40 metre line big collision there from Inman 
well maintained. Cavana down low. Slow play the ball. Davies finds 29. Bibby who hands it on. That's great defence there from, from the Panthers. G and Leroya working well on Louis Collinson. Here's Bibby again. Steps out the challenge of Tangata, but Tangata goes back for more. Him and finishes off the tackle. Options left and right for Dewsbury. Go left. Turner. Now they're back to Walker. And Walker manages to get through some soft, high, fast defence, but they manage to put him down just on the 10 metre line. Still tackles here for Dewsbury. Turner runs across the line, finds Hookham. Out of the back to O'Connor. And Dewsbury looking to get over on that right hand side. Lovely ball back inside, but desperate defence from the Panthers. Lovely play there from Dewsbury. Lewis Carth with a, a miracle ball out the back. But desperate defence from the Panthers. Last tackle here for Dewsbury. Hookham kicks cross field. First real defensive test. Knocked down from Dewsbury. Goes backwards, collected by Saltonstall. Gets the offload to G, and G will just take his tackle on his own 10 metre line. And Ifax survived that first defensive test of the game. They're looking to shift it early, Tibbs finds Eden. Will he take on Carr on the outside? He, he does, but great defence there from Lewis Carr. Quick play of the ball, and Tibbs makes some good yards out of dummy half. Halifax trying to sp speed this play up. Keys finds Connor Davies against his former side. Just shy of halfway, fights for a quick play of the ball. Hidman shakes right and goes left, finds Tangatan. Tangata. Trash four, Jews with men into the tackle. Finished off by three. Still tackles here for Fax. Inman. Fax have got an overlap of the one eight keys. Kicks early in the tackle count. Good defensive line though. Meeting car there. And Jews will start just over their own 10 metre line. Here's Beckett again. Great tackle down low from Inman. Held out by Kavanagh. And Davies up top. Scrappy play of the ball, the referee allows it as Garside clattered by his ex-teammate Ben Kavanagh. We gets a quick play of the ball though. Here's Curtis Davies jumping out from dummy half, tackled by his twin. That's one for the Davies scrapbook there. Hookham finds Turner, shows and goes. He's light on his feet on this heavy surface, but Kavanagh and Tangatar. Along with him and doing enough, last tackle here for the Rams. And 10 metres inside the fax half. He goes to Hookham once more, and Hookham puts it high again. No real pressure, but he don't want to take this and does. And goes to take on the outside, but Carr again does well. And the penalty count's evened up. Second effort from the Jewsbury man. And he gives Halifax. A real good opportunity to get out of their own half, which Keyes does. With a great catch from the gentleman in the stand. And Halifax will start to set on halfway. Tibbs thought about the pass to Kavanagh, but thought better of it and just takes it into that Jewsby defensive line. Inman waits at dummy half. Fires out to Tangata. Short ball to Leroya. Leroya meets Bibby head on. Helped out by two more Jewsby defenders. There's Leroya just shy of 30. Inman comes back central to Tangata, throws a dummy. Big collision, but Tangata rides it well. Centre field, options left and right for Inman. The goal left with Keyes. On to a burn all, takes it to the line, and Kavanagh tries to poke his nose through. Well put down inside Jewsbury's 10. Kavanagh asking a touch judge for a penalty for interference, but play goes on. Keyes. Runs a defensive line, nice little disguise ball, but the Jewsby defence wise to it. Quick play of the ball, Inman finds Keys, short ball to Kavanagh on the power play. Good defence from Jewsbury, but Halifax won't mind that, it's not a bad place to turn the ball over. As Halifax are looked to put pressure on this Jewsbury attack via the defence, 
and keep squeaky clean they'll penalise for offside last time they were down here big collision there for Leroy he gets some good cheers from those Fax fans behind the post he'd have felt that would Bailey Dawson as Jewsbury go left tackle completed by Gian McComb on O'Connor as Jewsbury were the blind side Leroy working hard in defence Held out by McComb and Jufre. Jews were struggling to get out of their own 30 at this moment. Goes to Bibby, short ball to Beckett and Beckett. Well put down there by Tibbs and Kavanagh. They were the blind side. Hookham, long ball out to Carr and Carr manages to keep hold of it, but he slips on this muddy surface. Jews were calling for a penalty for a late shot, but play continues as. Callum Turner puts it high this time. Woodburn all weights. No pressure, and that's easy enough for the fullback. Bumps off one defender. But Collinson throws into the ground by his shirt. Here's Tibbs. Fires on to Saltonstall. And Saltonstall makes yards after contacts. Fighting for a quick play of the ball. Here's Tibbs. Good yards there from Ben Tibbs. Takes facts past the 30. Inman finds McComb stepping up the line but Beckett and Dawson do well here's Keys spy some space in the Jewsbury backfield it rests in the mud of this surface and Bailey O'Connor takes it up put down there by McComb and Jufre really heavy pitch here at Jewsbury as the Rams try and work it left, good tackle on Greensmith by Saltonstall. Turner comes back inside to Beckett. And Beckett steps off wide, a great shot there from Tangatar and forces the error. That's a brilliant shot there from the birthday boy. Great shot there, ball and all tackle, forcing the error. And the Panthers have a great attacking opportunity here. Scrum 25 metres out from the line, centre field. There's Woodburn all standing right behind the scrum. No doubt he'll look to break early off. Having said that, he's, he's just gone left. Inman goes right to Dufre. Further on to McComb. So rather. A simple scrum move there as McCone takes a tackle on Jewsbury 20. Here's Leroyer. Gets up ahead of steam and met by three Jewsbury defenders. Takes Halifax inside the 10 metres. Tackles in the bag on the Jewsbury line here. Keys brings on Tangatara on the angle. Met by Davies and Bibby. He fights for a quick play of the ball. Inman fires out to Keys. Onto Jufre. Onto McComb. McComb. That pass was never ordered. Greensmith. Big great pressure there. As McCone tried to fire the pass out, but Greensmith did well to put pressure on him, and it's just a handover to the Jewsbury. Jewsbury round side. They'll get to play the ball 10 metres out from their own line. As Tangatar getting through plenty of work in his first stint there on Marcus Walker here's Garside and that's a force another error there but this time the referee gives a penalty well I didn't see too much difference between that tackle and the one from Tangatar but the officials are closer but the referee judging different and Dewsbury through that penalty will get into Halifax half as Hookham taps onto Davies finds Beckett as Collinson big shot there from G but Collinson bounced it off that's some really big hits so far in this game still nil nil as Davies shoots out from dummy half tackled by his twin brother Held out by Tangatar as Vlyle Roy, sorry, as Inman finishes off downstairs. 
Dewsbury work it left. Turner brings on Walker on the angle. Dewsbury 10 metres out from the fax line. Hookham shows it to Garside, but takes on himself. But that's great tackle there from Kavanagh. As Garside goes from dummy half on the blind side, can he get over the line? No, he's pushed back by the Halifax defence. Last tackle here for Dewsbury. It goes to Hookham. Further on wide to Turner and Turner. Left foot, crossfield kick. And well taken there from the Dewsbury man. And Dewsbury score the first try of the Betfred Championship 2024 season. It's Perry Whiteley who's got the try. On the 13 minute mark. And the pressure told. Nice little crossfield kick over from Turner and Whiteley just rose. Higher and on time than Sultan Stahl to claim the try. As Jusby go 4 0 up with a kick to come. I think it'd be Callum Turner who will be taking a shot at goal as well. As that penalty for Judge Borstil proves expensive for Halifax. He will be Callum Turner to, with the first shot of goal of the afternoon at a breezy Flair Stadium. It's certainly high enough, as he judged it right, the flags wave away that conversion attempt. He's coming up to the 15 minute mark. It's Jews Rams 4, Halifax Panthers nil. And what kind of response have Liam Finn's men got after that? The 2023 League One champions adjusting to life in the championship well so far as Keys goes left once more, collected by Carr this time and hands it on to Beckett, and that's a shuddering hit from LaRoya. Calls of a shoulder charge not taken there by the referee as Walker takes it centre field, takes four IFAX men to put him down. Tangata G, Connor Davis and Inman as Dewsbury go left. Steps back inside, does Dawson. Well dealt with there by, though, by Tangata. Here's Collinson. Bumps off Kavanagh, but helped out there by Inman and Connor Davies. Still tackles here for Dewsbury, they work it left, hook him, throws a dummy, but. Tibbs does well, Kavanagh helps him as well. As Jews were marched away into Halifax as 30. Last tackle low for the Rams. He goes to Turner again, who puts it to that left hand side. Salt and Stall waits. He's taken again by the Jewsbury man. Gets it back out, but the referee rules. That is a penalty for a pass off the floor. Juldy was held. Or is he given offside against the chase as well? That's a relief. For Halifax, because that looks to be a real weapon in Dewsbury's arsenal. The leaper Perry Whiteley on that left hand side, but as it is, Halifax get the penalty and start the set from the 30th. McComb makes some really good yards up towards halfway. As Fax look for a quick response, Leroy hands it on to Connor Davies. Davies, not for the first time, met by his brother. Takes Fox five yards into Judah's half and win a six again as well. Referee Kevin Moore gives the first six again of the afternoon. As Leroy takes the ball up onto Keys, finds Kavanagh, steps back inside. 
The challenger Whiteley, but it takes three men to put him down. Load of tackles here for Halifax inside Dewsbury 20. Inman just takes to Connor Davis at first receiver. He'll take his tackle on the Dewsbury 10 metre line, centre field. Keys moves late. Inman throws to no one. And Halifax losing the way a little bit there as Tibbs runs across the line looking for a chink in the Dewsbury armour. He gets put down on that right hand side. Inman works the blind side. G steps off his right, looking for another try. Calls of a high tackle from the Halifax fans behind those posts, which the referee gives. And Halifax will have another six tackles on this Dewsbury line. As the pressure mounts on that Rams defence. As Keys will just tap and go. Brings on McComb in that centre field, steps. And he's put down five metres short. Big opportunity now for Halifax to post points. Inman finds Tangatar onto Jufre. Short ball to Kavanagh. Back onto Tibbs. Tibbs onto Greg Eden. Steps inside. Yeah! But he ran out of room. And that's a bit of naive play from the Panthers. <laughs> there was no real angle on that attacking play. And Greg Eden is a fantastic finisher. Even he couldn't do much there. And the Dewsbury defence dealt with it really well to keep it four points to nil. And the Rams all get to play the ball. Ten metres out from their own line. As Halifax will try to make up for the mistake with a quick defensive line. As Dewsbury through O'Connor, goal left, but great defence there from Jufre. Slow play of the ball. Turner finds Wiley bumped off Kavanagh, but Leroy and Inman eventually put him down. Here's Bibby out of the back to Hookham. Hookham brings on Garside, and Garside met well there. By Tangatar, had a brilliant first quarter of an hour as Adam Tangatar. Here's Bibby. Short ball to Whiteley. And Whiteley makes some really good yards after contact, despite the attention that Connor Davies and Inman. Last tackle here for Dewsbury. Turner puts boot to ball. High ball, no real pressure on Woodburn Hall, who takes it well. Hands on to Saltonstall. Long ball out to Eden. Eden on to Tibbs. Alifas looks to attack from deep. Tibbs rides the tackle well, but just gets put down. But Halifax looking to be expansive from deep. Here's Saltonstall, broken field running here. Tells Woodburn all where to go. But the Dewsbury defence closes in. And Halifax on tackle two already in Dewsbury's half. Saltonstall takes the ball on. Great yards there from Salty. Fighting for a quick play of the ball. Inman finds Tangatar. Out of the back to Keys. Keys throws a dummy, but great defence there from Hookham and Garside. Inman goes back centre field. Davis drops off Tangatar. Tangatar spins the tackle of Bibby. Last tackle here for Fax. Inman goes left to Jufre and Jufre goes. Gaps here for Louis Jufre and he's Jufre over. He is. <laughs> Halifax had to score there and did as Louis Jufre. Halifax. Scores Halifax Panthers' first try of the 2024 Betfred Championship season. Just after the 20 minute mark here. And Halifax equalised in this game. And with a try close to the post, you'd think Louis Jufre would turn his four into six. And that is just the response that Liam Finn would have wanted. As James Solensall has a word with the referee over something. You could see both times he had the ball, it was pointing at the Dewsbury defensive line. <coughs> As Louis Jufre lines up for his first shot of goal of the afternoon. He's taking it back just past the 20 metre line, giving him a, a better angle at the posts. 
as the wind has dropped unusually at the Flair Stadium. But Jufre nails it straight through the post. The flags are up. Conversion and Halifax come back from behind to take a six, po six points to four lead here in the 22nd minute of the game. Rams interchange moving the field number 29, Jack Bibby, replacement number 27, Joe As Halifax substitutes warm up, probably see the imminent arrival of Jacob Fairbank and Ryan Lannan. As Jusbe kick back off, Bailey O'Connor it is, with a high hanging kick which would burn all takes. Hands on to Rampage, Alan Tangatar. Good collision though from Joe Hurd, fresh onto the field for the Rams. As Connor Davies takes the ball up to the defensive line of Dewsbury. Inman finds Leroyer. Wiley tries to hit him out, but he keeps on going, does Leroy put down 25 metres out, 35 metres out from the line. Inman finds Dufre onto Kavanagh. Goes back on the inside, looks to be a high shot there from from Walker, not seen by the officials as Dufre goes back centre field, hands it on to Leroy, Leroy tries to make yards after contact but Garside goes down low to stop his progress, last tackle here for Halifax, Inman finds Keys, brings it back this side to Dufre and Dufre with broken field, steps inside well, Keys looking for the chase of Eden, the ball spilled by the Dewsbury man, it goes backwards and Dewsbury survive. Good defensive line there from Ifax, putting pressure on this Jews beside. Through Davies and Leroyer. Here's Perry Whiteley, the try scorer for Jewsbury, but well met there from G. As the Rams struggling to get out their own 20 years, Greensmith takes it up. Well dealt with by McComb and Jufre. Slowing to play the ball down. Turner runs across field, brings on what Beckett and Beckett put down there from G. Last tackle here for Jews, but great defensive effort this from Halifax. But Turner has all the time in the world to put a spiral kick down, but it's not got the length. Although the dodgy bounce, Woodburn all leaves it for Saltonstall, who throws a step in and makes some good yards as Kevin Leroyer makes way for Jacob Fairbank to come on to the field. Here's McComb, steps to the line and makes some good yards after contact Jay over halfway. Field, Kevin Leroyer, Inman, flat ball to Fairbank, calls a forward pass, not heeded by the officials as Fairbank goes past the 30. Inman, onto Keys, out of the back to Woodburn all, short ball to Tibbs, Tibbs well dealt with though by the Jews by defence. Different option might have worked out there for Halifax, but as it is, Keys. Runs across the line, finds Jufre, long ball out to McComb. McComb steps on the outside, well dealt with there by Greensmith. He puts it in down, but it's a six again for Halifax. Not too sure that was for, but we'll take it as Connor Davis goes in and Beckett goes high and not seen by the officials. Inman. Keyes does brilliantly to pick it off his bootlaces as Kavanagh takes his tackle. Tackles in the bag here on Dewsbury's line for Halifax. Fairbank, short ball to Tangatar and Tangatar tries to spin out the tackle, trying to get over the line. Desperate Dewsbury defence does well to hold him up over the line. But there's still tackles here for, for Halifax. Options left and right here. They go towards the centre field. Keys thinks better of it. Goes by himself and takes his tackle. Inside the Jews with 10, Inman onto Davies. Davies throws in a step, tries to bruise way over the line. Last tackle here for Halifax. Inman finds Jufre, short ball to G, and G, great tackle there from Callum Turner. Had to be. G thought it was over for yet another try, but fantastic defence there from Callum Turner. Using all his defensive acumen from his full back days. Oh my God, 
as Dewsbury played the ball and that nearly went calamitously for the Rams there. Double interchange for the Rams leaving the field, number eight, Jimmy Beckett, number 20, Curtis Good Davis. shot there from Fair, Bangelt out by G. Kieran Rush, 17, Jackson Walker. On the Dewsbury man, Jackson Walker onto the field and straight into the action. <laughs> Kavanagh and Feb Neiman working overtime here as Collinson takes a tackle of Fairbank. Hookham goes from dummy half onto Walker, onto Rush. Long ball out as Eden went for the intercept, but he touched his hand and goes out. Just couldn't keep his hands off the cookie jar there, Eden. We know how good he is at these interceptions, but that one he judged wrong. And Jews will have another set of six. We'll play the ball on halfway. As Ryan Lannan waits to enter the fray on the sideline. Here's Walker. Big shot there. I think he felt it as well as he goes straight back down. Big shot from Tangata. Jews with the blind side turner. Throws a dummy. Great tackle down low there. From Connor Davies. He has heard. Finds Rush. Rush. Great tackle there from Kavanagh, but they managed to get the ball out. But Inman and Keys, along with Fairbank, put O'Connor down. And Jewsbury working the blind side again. Here's Rush. Lovely ball out the back to car side, but well dealt with there by Fairbank. Still tackles here for Dewsbury as Rush finds Hookham, runs across field, brings on Hurd, bumps off Inman, but great tackle down low by Fairbank. Tangataro top, last tackle here for the Rams. Hookham goes from dummy half, has loads of space, the ball comes out, and Inman dives on the ball. Referee ruling a knock on from somewhere, but which way is it going? He's just going to be a turnover to Halifax as Adam Tangata takes a well-earned break along with Tom Inman as Gareth Widdop and Ryan Lannan into the fray. So we'll see like I see last, saw last week. Widdop will go to half-back and Louis Jufre will go to Hook as Halifax up to attack from deep again. The ball finds its way to Saltonstall. He's put down and knocks the ball on as well, James Saltonstall. He protests to the, ref to the officials. But they're not going to change their mind. Saltonstall's adamant that there was interference, but the referee gives a knock on against him. The field number eight, Adam Tangata, 20, Thomas Inman. They're replaced by 23, Gareth Widdop, 15, Ryan Lannan. And Jews will have the scrum 10 metres out from the fax line, looking to regain the lead. <coughs> Hook them from the back. Finds Turner, throws a dummy, tries to duck underneath the challenge of Kavanagh, but Kavanagh does well. Reinforcements arrive through Connor Davies. As Dewsbury inside, Halifax says 10. Heard, throws a dummy, but Fairbank and Lannan weren't buying it. Put down just by those posts, slow play the ball. Hookham fires it to Rush, and Rush brings on Garside on the angle. Gets, gets the offload out to Walker. Walker runs across field. Big figure of Walker, well put down there by Kavanagh, Fairbank, and Davies. Here's Collinson. Bounces off the challenger, will burn all, but Fairbank down low. Six again here for Dewsbury. It's at that left hand side. Dewsbury's first six again of the, of the game. As Ifax slowing this play the ball down. Here's Turner. Flat ball to Walker, but good challenge there from Kavanagh helped out by Keyes. Loads of tackles in the bag here for Dewsbury and Ifax's line. Hookham finds Collinson, tries to poke his nose between Jufre and Lannan, but good defence from those two. Dewsbury go left. Turner. Long ball out to Greensmith and Greensmith comes back inside, but well dealt with there by McComb and G. Here's Heard. 
dealt with well by Lannan and Dufre. Last tackle here for the Rams. Long ball out to Rush. Rush goes it through. Bounces off Keys and Keys does well. Well dealt with there by the halfback. And Ifax survived that defensive test as Ben Kavanagh doesn't look good in back play. Feeling his leg in back play and the physio straight onto the field. Assault and stall takes the ball up once more, looking to hold on this time. Managed to get the ball out as soon as he said that. Great yards there as McComb takes Ifax past the 30 metre line. Jufrey waits at dummy half, hands on to Fairbank. More calls of forward pass, not either by the officials. A stair bank. Tries to get a quick play of the ball. Dufre hands it on to Lannan. Lannan takes Fax past halfway and gets put down just shy of the 40. Last tackle here for Fax. Keys pulls it high. No real challenge for this ball. Just to focus on the defensive line as Carr goes past Fairbank but stopped by Tibbs. Here's Whiteley, bumps off Jufre, but G and Lannan stick to him, but gets a great offload away as O'Connor brings on Greensmith and Greensmith tackle just shy of 40. Rams interchange, leaving the field, number 13, Lewis Collinson, replaced by 28, Here's Turner. Jack Billington. Runs across field, bumps off a tackle here. But Lannan and Davies stopping five metres short of halfway. Hookham jumps out from dummy half, finds Rush. Gap back on the inside for O'Connor, but well dealt with there by Connor Davies. Quick play of the ball there. Jews recalling for a penalty on six again, but not happening there. As Lannan and Jufre put down Hookham, 20 metres out from the line. Here's Turner out to O'Connor. Great tackle down low by Widdop. Still tackles here for Dewsbury. As Walker. Put down there by Fairbank and Davies. Turner brings on Rush. Short ball to Garside. Rise a tackle of Tibbs. Dewsbury must have had a six again. We must have been behind the pole here. Here's Rush. Brings on Hurd. Kevin also shaking off that knock. Working defence now. Last tackle here for the Rams. Five metres out from the Panthers line. As Turner chips over to that corner once more. Saltonstall not interested in the ball. Focusing on defence. O'Connor with the worst attempt of a grubber kick you'll ever see. Thankfully for the Panthers. <laughs> Jacob Fairbank dives on it. And I thought survived that defensive test. Quick play of the ball, Widdop finds Saltonstall. Saltonstall posts his nose between two, but Dewsbury Rams defence do well, put him down on the 30. McComb shows the ball, takes it up. He's put down, five metres shy of halfway, fighting for a quick play of the ball. Widdop feeds Lannan, footwork at the line and goes past halfway. Again, slow play of the ball. Dufre goes right to Widdop, finds space in that corner and looks to shake his own kick. Gareth Widdop, brilliant kick and chase there from Widdop. But O'Connor gets out of the challenge, but Jacob Fairbank makes sure. Brilliant little option there from Widdop. As Ifax trying to win back this territory battle. As Carr stopped by three Fax defenders just over his own 10 metre line. Rush waits. Finds it onto Walker and Walker put down by Fairbank, Jufre and Kavanagh. As Ifax really trying to restrict this Dewsbury yardage upfield. Walker back on the inside to Hookham and Hookham throws a dummy. As Dewsbury this time looking a little bit clueless with ball in hand. Just over the 20. Big shot there from Fairbank. Held out by Lannan. Last tackle for Dewsbury. Not even past their own 30. As Turner puts it high, looking for length. Woodburn all underneath it, collects, hands on to Saltonstall, and Saltonstall surveys his options. Tries to go through the gap. Looked a little bit high there from Walker, but not given there by the referee. Here's Woodburn all. 
on that blind side. Right, just to get out of the, his hand out of the clutches, but don't force the pass. He'll play the ball on his own. 40. Jufre uh, picks up one handed onto McComb. Good handoff. But Garside completes the tackle alongside Dawson. Jufre brings it blind onto Keys. Keys shows and goes onto Eden. Eden finds Tibbs. Sets back on the inside, Ben Tibbs, but well dealt with there by Marcus Walker. Eden finds Keys. Hands off to Lannan and Lannan. Good yards there from Ryan Lannan. Takes Halifax into Dewsbury 30. Last tackle here for the Panthers. Jufre finds Keys and Keys. Little dink over the top. Looking for Chaser Widdop. Was it taken out in back play? Referee rules not. As O'Connor does well. Here's Whiteley. Good yards there from Whiteley, but well dealt with by Jufre and Fairbank, who's worked really hard since coming off the bench. And it's an incorrect play of the ball there from Whiteley. Well, that is not the area you want him. Coming out of yardage. And Halifax had a great opportunity to extend the lead just before half time here. Here's Widdop. Short ball to G and G. Take the tackle of three Jewsbury defenders. 15 metres out from the line. Jufre finds Widdop. Brings on Fairbank. Fairbank. Charges into that Jewsbury defence. They can't put him down, just stands to the tackle as Jufre finds keys. Out of the back to Widdop. Widdop takes to the line. Short ball to Kavanagh, but great defence there from Walker and Rush. Widdop waits a dummy half. Six again. Another six again for Halifax as Lannan. Charges at the line, looking for the score. He gets put down just short. Seems waits again. Another six again here for Halifax. When the constant six again turns to penalties as Keys throws a dummy, goes back on the inside. Looks to be a high shot there from Walker, but not given by the referee. Will this pressure tell here for Halifax as, as Keys stuck in the tackle? Chu Frey finds Widdop. Out of the back to Woodburn Hall, finds McComb and McComb kicks the ball away and that's the wrong option there. That's poor play from Zach McComb. And Dewsbury get out of jail there. As the half time hooter goes. Might not have mattered in the in, in terms of the tackles there. But Halifax. Go into half time in the first round of the Bedford Championship 2024 season with a six points to four lead. Perry Whiteley took the lead for the home side on the 13th minute from a crossfield kick from Callan Turner. And then Louis Jufre struck back 10 minutes later from short range. He converted his own score, which proved the difference at half time. Big 40 minutes to go in the second half, the half time score. Here at the Flair Stadium, Shrewsbury Rams 4, Halifax Panthers 6. Welcome back to the Flair Stadium in Dewsbury for the second half of this round one Betfred Championship clash between the Dewsbury Rams and Halifax Panthers. And here's the Panthers that hold a very slender six points to four lead at the break. Thanks to six points from Louis Jufre, his try and conversion, the difference after Perry Whiteley, Rose loved Jane Saltonstall to take the lead for the Rams in the first half, but all to play for in the second half as Liam Finn's former side not giving him a very good return at this moment in time. As the sun makes an appearance for the second half and the wind has picked up, but all to play for in this really important first round of the league season. <laughs> Be Dewsbury to kick off this second half through Bailey O'Connor. Here we go. We go relatively short, but Tibbs takes easily enough. 
and Tivs plays the ball just over the 20 metre centre field as Fairbank takes past the 30 Jufre dummy half hands on to Connor Davies like a, a pocket dynamo Connor Davies running into that line here's Widdop on to G steps back on the inside takes Fax past halfway Slow play of the ball. The referee rules it 6 1 half, does the other. Here's Fairbank, brings on Lannon. Goes to our, back to our centre field, Lannon. Stands in the tackle despite the attention of three Jews defenders. Last tackle here for Fax. Jufre finds Widdop. Widdop puts it high. It's hanging in that wind as Widdop chases his own kick. Does brilliantly out to Sortenstall. And Sortenstall kicks through. And. I think James Sortenstall stepped out of touch before he kicked that well. We're just starting to see a little bit of that Gareth Widdop class. A great bomb up, up in the air and then did brilliantly to catch and then pass. But Sortenstall stepped out of touch. And as it is, it'd be the Jewsbury who'll take the ball out from their own 10 metre line through Greensmith. Sorry, that was Whiteley. This is Greensmith this time, and Greensmith with the error. And Jufre looking to take advantage. Tibbs sets back inside. And Ifax with a great opportunity to put the first points on the board in this second half. Jufre finds Keys, runs across the line, hands it on to Lannon. And Lannon gets brought down by two Jewsbury defenders inside the 10. Slow play the ball, bodies on the floor. Jufre. Finds Kavanagh, long ball back and Tibbs with the error. And that's just been a story, the game for both sides. Great positions but not great executions. As Halifax trying to force it a bit there. Letting Jewsbury off the hook. And they'll get the a scrum on their own 10 metre line. Bring this near side, with it with a great shot there. And putting down Whiteley. And Ifax win the first penalty, uh, Dewsbury win the first penalty of the second half. As you can hear from up here, Jacob Fairbank shout discipline and that is the word been poor discipline from both sides both in terms of penalties and ball handling Hookham hands it on to Dawson Bailey Dawson takes Jews for past halfway his big figure Jackson Walker but Kavanagh meets him with force Held out by Jufre, putting down just shy of the 40 metre line. Here Turner, hands on substitute Jack Billington, and Billington makes great yards after contact, goes inside, Halifax is 30. Slow play the ball again. He has heard, Rampage onto that ball, but Fairbank and G do well. Here's a quick play of the ball. Here's Turner, takes it to the line, Greenspith steps back inside, but well wrapped up down low there from Davies. Last sack clear for Dewsbury. Turner, cross field kick, sun in the eyes. Great take there from the Dewsbury man. But I think Halifax have just done enough to hold him up, they have. But again, you just see how dangerous these cross field kicks are from Dewsbury. Halifax have to deal with them better. As they survive that. That play. Here's Eden. Big shot there from Walker, but Eden fights for a quick play of the ball. Here's Saltonstall. Brings on McComb and McComb. Three Jews with men stop him in his tracks. Two free onto Lannon and referee. Blows his whistle. To indicate offside as Joe Keyes wants to get on with it quickly 
Referee not letting him. And Keyes eventually kicks the touch. And it'll take Halifax inside the Dewsbury half. And Saltonstall picking up the pace. Bit of urgency now about Halifax's play. As Saltonstall thought about the offload, but thought better of it. He's put down inside Dewsbury's 30. With a waste of dummy half onto Fairbank. Thought about the pass, but takes on himself. Great yards there from Fax inside Dewsbury's 20 already. As things get a little bit tasty there. Hookham goes down in back play. Not quite sure what happened there because there's a pole right in front of my view here. The touch judge is on, I'm not too sure what he's seen there. But the Jewsbury fans on this near side reacted straight away. Referee calling Jacob Fairbank across. Is it just going to be a talking to or is he going to be penalising? Oh, he's going to be simbinning for Jacob Fairbank. Well, again, I'm not too sure why. And Ifax are down to 10 for the next 10 minutes, uh, 12 for the next 10 minutes. And it's slightly ironic, the man who was saying discipline not too long ago is the one that's caused the indiscipline. And it's ruled that he's kicked out in the tackle there, Jacob Fairbank. And how costly could this, these next 10 minutes be? As Dewsbury will look to make the most of the one-man advantage. As Greensmith takes... The Rams into Halifax's half. There's Jackson Walker this time. Finished off there by Lannan. Original good tackle there from Kavanagh. Rush chips it over the top, spying some space, but it's going to go dead. And that's a bit of a, a weird play from the side with a man advantage to kick that early on, a, uh, on the tackle count, but we'll take it. As... There's a Davies substitution. Connor Davies makes way for for Ollie Davies. the field, 19. Connor Davies replaced by 21. Oliver Davies makes my job slightly easier. As Ollie Davies with his first touch of the ball takes Fax past the 40. Here's James Saltonstall. Good yards there from the winger. Gets put down there by Bailey Dawson. Here's Laddon, centre field, with some footwork. Yards after contact there as well, Laddon. They can't put him down, he's just standing the tackle. Here's Keyes. Lovely dummy there from Keyes, but Dewsbury. Wise to the task. Slow play the ball, Dewfrey dummies and goes blind. Woodburn all, long ball out as Tibbs comes back inside. Last tackle here for Fax. Jufre finds Keys, goes back to that left hand side. Eden grubbers it towards the corner. I think that's a bit too strong. It is. And it gives Jewsbury a seven tackle set. As Whiteley. Good yards there from the 20 metre tap. There's a go right. It's Marcus Walker. Put down by Lannan and Kavanagh. Runs back inside. As Dawson takes Juice past halfway. It's about to challenge of Lannan. Quick play of the ball. Turner out of the back to O'Connor. O'Connor fancies it, but goes to Greensmith. And Greensmith challenged by Widdop, who puts him down with help from Zach McComb. Here's Turner, runs across field. Hands on to Dawson, and Dawson stands in the tackle of Lannan and Kavanagh. Dewsbury go right, rush, flat ball there, but great tackle down low. By Joe Keyes, last tackle here for Dewsbury. Rush, finds Turner, and Turner 
Kick towards the corner. Well taken. Oh, Saltonstall drops the ball. Can you first knock on and Saltonstall has not done well from those kicks all day. Which is unusual for Jane Saltonstall. But it gives Dewsbury yet another opportunity to regain this lead. They'll get the scrum. Ten metres out from the fast line, centre field. They'll attack the right hand side. Turner takes the line. Hands it off to O'Connor, and O'Connor dealt well. With there by Tibbs. He has heard and heard. Pounce of on by Davies, and Davies just nearly past horizontal referee, lenient there. Here's Turner, takes the line back to go, Connor. Saltonstall misses the tackle on defence there. Good job with it. And G were there to recover. Some loose pass there from Greenspin from dummy half. Means that Turner will just have to take the ball in himself. Still tackles here for Dewsbury. Hook and waits at dummy half. Short ball to Jackson Walker. Walker twists the tackle, but Lannan does well to cover that ball. Hook him, goes from dummy yeah. half and you're over. Yeah. Soft try from dummy half. There's Jacob Hookham. Rams try scorer, Regains the lead. Calvert, Jacob For the Jewsby Rams. And that is a coach killer. <laughs> Just Diving over from dummy half, Liam Finn will not be happy with that. As Jewsbury regain the lead, eight points to six for the kick to come. And Jacob Fairbanks Singbin in proving expensive right now. what's being said behind those posts in that huddle of those players. It's been a poor start to the second half for Halifax. As Callum Turner looks to turn this four into six with the conversion, which he does. Straight through the post. Rams conversion, number seven, sponsored by Catherine Calden, Callum Turner. And that score puts Jewsbury four points ahead. 10 points to six. With 12 minutes of the second half gone. They need a response quickly now, Halifax. As Adam Tangata comes back onto the field to replace Ryan Lannan. With it, with the kickoff. Hangs in the air, taken by car there. The Good defence again by by Oli Davies down low, Matty G up top. Restricting the run of Marcus Walker. Good shot again there from Oli Davies and Tangata. Hookham finds Walker as Ollie, Ollie Davies yet again in the tackle out out there by G and Jufre as Hookham kicks early in the tackle count looking for a 40-20 as Woodburn all race across it's a great kick there from the Rams as they're just content and just winning this this territory here they're 10 points to six up. As he then takes a tackle on his own 20, is Salt and Stall. Ragged to the ground there. Ripped his shirt as well, James Salt and Stall. 
as, as McCone pokes his nose through, goes past halfway for Fax. And wins a penalty for his side as well. Great player there by Zach McComb, as James Saltonstall will definitely need a new shirt very soon. They literally ripped the shirt off his back there. But he's getting on with it. Here's G from the penalty. Takes up to that Jewsby defence. Big opportunity here now for Halifax to pull some points back. Widdop drops it off for Ollie Davies and Davies takes Halifax into the 20 metre zone. Salt and Stall's replacement shirt says 33. Here's Widdop. Brings on G on the angle. Escapes the challenger one, but can't escape the challenger more. Jufre from dummy half finds keys. Brings Kavanagh back on the inside. Shot ball to Woodburn. Oh, that's a great shot there in defence. But the referee stopping play. I think there's been a clash of heads because both players are down. It was an absolute bell ringer of a tackle. And James Woodburn all has come off second best. And this is not what we need. After the long-term injuries to Ben Crooks, Will Calcott and Adam O'Brien, Woodburn all being injured. It's not good news at all. It's a threadbare squad already. The doctor and physio straight onto the field. He's sitting up, which is a good sign, but no doubt he'll be off for a head injury assessment. Well, James will burn all once he's up on his feet, which he is now. Well, he isn't. The doctor must think he's, he's okay. Well, <laughs> meanwhile, the referee speaking to Jackson Walker, who gets his matching orders as well. He's spending 10 minutes in the bin. Rav Simbin, number 17, Jackson Walker. As Jacob Fairbank is ready to come back onto the field for the next passenger play, it's going to be 12v12, and Halifax will be back to 13 very soon. As the referee rules, that was a high shot from Jackson Walker. Jufre taps and finds Tangata. Tangata takes it to the line. Thought about the pass to G, but keeps hold. As Jews by defence, stand firm for now. Here's Ollie Davies. Nearly at that line. Fighting for a quick play of the ball. Jufre waits at dummy half. Here's Gareth Widdop. Throws a dummy in. That's another high shot there from Jewsbury. As Fairbank makes his way back onto the field. So it's 13 v 12 for the next nine and a half minutes. As Dewsbury, with two high shots on the trot. Returning from the sim bin for Halifax, number 13, Jacob Fair. Here's Oi Davies, takes it hard and straight. Setting the play up, less than 10 out, centre field. Quick play of the ball to Dufre from Dummy Half. There's a gap there for Dufre if he wants it. But the door closes, he wriggles out the tackle, still going Dufre. He eventually is held. Keys waits at dummy half and goes off and dummy half. Has he got over? He has. Joe Keys retakes the lead for the Halifax Panthers. As Louis Jufre, who's renowned for a dummy half scoop, hands it off to jo Joe Keys with a captain's knock for the Panthers. Retakes the lead. Well, equalizes my mistake. I'm getting a bit too ahead of myself. 10 points all with a kick to come. And Halifax do make that sin bin count. And 
as Dufre lines up the conversion attempt, all important. This stage of the game coming up to last quarter. Can he judge this swirling wind here at the Flair Stadium? Here he comes, strikes it high, he's through the post, the flags are up. And Halifax do regain the lead this time. Excuse my enthusiasm, but that, that is a big pass to play for Halifax. As Dewsbury spending the next eight minutes or so with a man in the bin. Can Halifax push forward this advantage? Dewsbury will no doubt be no rush. restart this game they'll try and eke out every single second well they're down to 12 as O'Connor again a relatively short kickoff Eden comes back on the inside Rams interchange leaving the field number 23 Bailey Dawson replaced by sorry Bates Tibbs comes off second best there Ben Tibbs and you can see Jacob Fairbank straight away calling to the referee that it was a bit of a crusher tackle. Pressure on the back of his head. Well, the referee sees nothing wrong with it, nods as a touch judge. But the physio on. Although it's hobbling Ben Tibbs, it must be his leg. Well, Jacob Fairbank was definitely shouting at the referee and pointing to the back of the head. And even Ben Tibbs now saying, Little pressure on the back of the head. Well, that might be one for the match review panel in the week. But as it is, play carries on. Ollie Davies steps off his right into a wall of black in front of him. The Dewsbury defenders slowing that play the ball down. Dufre onto G. And Dewsbury concede yet another penalty. The referee facing the wrath of this home crowd. As Keys kicks a touch and James Saltonstall wanting to go with it early. Pulled back by the referee. It taps and goes, James Saltonstall. Stands the tackle but eventually goes down inside the Jewsbury 40. Jewsbury waits a dummy half, hands on to G and G. Gets Stopped by two Jews with defenders in the shape of Beckett. As Tangata takes him further forward. Halifax picking up the pace here a little bit. Keys brings on Kavanagh on the angle. He gets put down inside the Jewsbury 10. Still tackles here for Fax. Jufre onto Fairbank. There's more tackles here for Halifax to get a six again. It's Jufre goes for Dummy Half. Is he over? He is! And the commentator's blessing, like I said, Jufre, known for a dummy ass scoot himself, gets another one, and I think stretch out the lead. 16 points to 10 with a kick to come. As Ifax make this one man advantage count even more so now. As the Frenchman goes over for his seventh try of the season. And with a conversion attempt underneath the post, you would think he'll be kicking his 33rd goal of the season as well. But more importantly than all of that, it'll stretch out. Halifax to a two-score lead. With 18 minutes to go, which could prove vital. Even though he's underneath the post, Jufre still with his golf swing kicking technique. He splits the post with that ball. Two tries, three goals to lose Jufre. Putting Ifax 18 
points to 10 up. Conversion for the six, Lewis And what response will this Dewsbury side have now? Grabs interchange, leaving the field number nine, Jacob Hookham, replaced by number 20, Curtis Davis. As Halifax fans finally find the voice in the second half. O'Connor goes long, he's going to go straight dead, it's way too far. Well, these kickoffs from Bailey O'Connor have been puzzling at best. The short kickoffs have been too long, and well, that was just far too long. That was halfway to battle that kick. <laughs> As Widdop goes against, kicking the ball, touching just taps and goes. Hands on to Fairbank, who will play the ball on the 40. Here's Davies, he's run hard since he's come on. It's Oli Davies. But Dewsbury dealt with him well. Here's Jufre onto Keys. Hands on to Fairbank and Fairbank with another run in this set. Take Halifax inside of Dewsbury 20. Slow play of the ball. Here's Keys on to Tangata. Out of the back to Widdop. He finds McComb. Bounces off the tackle, comes back inside. Widdop runs along the line onto Davies. Davies. Well wrapped up there by the Dewsbury man. Jufre goes left to Widdop. Short ball to Kavanagh from a standing star. The ball comes loose. And the chance has gone there for Halifax. A bit of a wrong option there for, for Kavanagh. From Widdop to Kavanagh, I must say. And that results in Dewsbury having a scum down. 10 metres from their own line. as Wyler takes it up but great four man defence there from Halifax with it Tangata McComb and G pushing him back from whence he came here's Greensmith good contact there from Davies and Fairbank with a penalty for offside Grabs interchange, leaving the field number 27, Joe Hurd, replacement number 13, Lewis Collins. As Turner kicks Dewsbury into the Ifax half from the penalty. Here's Beckett, big collision there from Tangata. But he still keeps going, there's Beckett, but. Davies and Fairbank Glenn wait to stop his progress. Six again for Dewsbury on the first tackle, so not much difference. But Dewsbury looking to strike back. Still down to 12 men, remember. But Jackson Walker prowling the touchline, ready to come back on as Beckett plays the ball inside Halifax's 20. Walker does indeed come back onto the field. So back to 13 v 13. Curtis Davis waits a dummy half, finds Turner, out of the back to Bailey O'Connor, on to Rush, Rush, the ball's not down there for Tibbs, and he'll be back to one for Dewsbury, the referee ruled his two knock-ons. Two knock Returning from the Simbin, rounds number 17, Jackson. For Dewsbury, have another six tackles, at Halifax's line, as Kevin Leroyer comes onto the field to replace Adam Tangata. Dewsbury will have the scrum down 15 metres from the fax line. <coughs> Davies spins out to rush, steps off his left foot, back inside but loses his footing on this muddy turf. G puts him down. Here's Walker fresh onto the field but good tackle there by Davies. Ollie Davies that is. Here's Coyne saying, oh, great tackle down low. 
by Fairbank. Had to be, and he was just too far out to reach over. Here's Rush again. Back on the inside, well dealt with by Jufre and the Royer. Still tackles here for the Rams. Curtis Davis waits and dummy out, trying to get over, but well dealt with there by the Royer and Jufre. Last tackle here for Dewsbury. Rush fires out to Turner, and Turner grubbers it through. Widdop cleans up and does well, Gareth Widdop. Great experience there. Using all his fullback experience there, Gareth Widdop. McComb takes up a well dealt with there by Greensmith. Here's Salt and Stall. Thought about the offload, but keeps hold of James Salt and Stall as Tom Inman comes on to replace Louis Jufre. As Tibbs takes Fax towards the 30. Well, Bernalwitz at dummy half finds Eden. Runs across field, looking for his face, Greg Eden. Always looks dangerous with ball in hand. Last tackle here for Fax. Inman fires it to Keyes, and Keyes looks for length, trying to make yards downfield. But Jews were looking to break from deep. He's still going. Bailey O'Connor tackled there by Widdop. He wasn't L, so he goes back for more. Here's Turner. On to Whiteley. Whiteley. Takes three Panthers defenders to put him down. Just shy of the 40. Here's Beckett. Short ball to Walker. Well dealt with there by Matty G. Davies waits a dummy half and to Turner. Brings on Greensmith on the angle. Davies down low, escapes Davies, but onto Leroy, he gets the offload. Curtis Davies. Tackled by his namesake. Turner finds Beckett onto Rush. Brings on Garside, and Garside well put down there by Inman and Kavanagh. Last tackle here for Dewsbury, Turner. Onto O'Connor. O'Connor chips it over the top. Well dealt with again by Gareth Widdop. Great couple of minutes there for Gareth Widdop anticipating those kicks. As the referee stops the clock to allow O'Connor to get some treatment. I think Widdop with some running repairs as well. Jews with kicking game. Close to Halifax's line has been great all game. And Gareth Widdop doing brilliantly well these last couple of minutes to stop Jews from getting back into this game. I'm not too sure why the referees still are stopping this game. The touch judge is on. It's calling over Joe Keyes. I think it's calling over both captains. I use when this happens with a report of something. Could be a report of biting, maybe, I'm not too sure, but the referee having a word, putting something on report. Well, I'm sure we'll find that about find out about that during the week. But as it is, Halifax have the ball. To Gareth Widdop. A meeting from their own line. Here's Davies. These are the hard yards that players have to take. But Jews been fronting up in defence. Inman, short ball to Salt and Stall. Salt and Stall, well dealt with there by Jews by defence. Halifax find it really hard to get out of their own 10 metres area. Here's G. Big collision there by Walker, but G riding it well. Slow play the ball again. As Inman nearly goes without the play the ball well. Last tackle already and Halifax barely out their own 20 as Widdop kicks left footed. No charge down as Eden takes the ball. And that's a brilliant defensive set by the home side. Big defensive set test coming up here for Halifax. 
as usual we'll start the set inside Halifax's 40 good shot there by Fairbank held out by Leroyer as Curtis Davies waits a dummy half onto Beckett good hit there from Davies shot down low by Fairbank Davies onto Walker Walker Thor Balapas just takes it up himself met by Leroyer and Fairbank 15 metres out from the line Davies takes out from dummy half short ball at the line brilliant tackle there by Inman he managed to get the offload out to Davies as Fairbank pounces on him and gives a six again as Collinson with a big handoff on Fairbank but Leroya Inman and Davies finish off the tackle Woodburn all sorry short ball at the line for Beckett great tackle down low by Fairbank had to be load of tackles here for Jewsby on Alfax's line Inman uh, Turner brings on Billington on the angle still tackles here for Jewsby Beckett finds Rush throws a dummy great shot there by Ben Kavanagh brilliant tackle there here's Beckett again throws a dummy this time great up and down tackle there by Fairbank and Leroya last tackle here for the Rams big moments coming up Davis fires out to Turner dink to the corner onto Saltonstall and Saltonstall will just bat the ball out and it's going to be a goal line dropout the first of the game for the Panthers and Saltonstall safety first he's not looked comfortable under those bombs all game Meanwhile, Ryan Lannan comes on to replace Jacob Fairbank. Woodburn all with a dropout. Collected by the Jewsby man as Beckett rides the challenge of Leroya really well. Here's Collinson. Challenges Lannan, but Lannan does well, helped out by G. 20 metres out from the Ifax line. The word the blind side. Turner takes to the line. Out the back to O'Connor. The three on two here. As Jewsby in the corner. But the referee is going to rule as a forward pass. I think the ball actually hit a Jewsby man inadvertently. Oh, he's given crossing. He must have had a report because it, it was definitely a forward pass. He hit the Jewsby man to go forward, but then the referees changed it to a penalty and that's a big let off for Halifax as McComb taps and goes from the penalty and he's ran strong all day as Zach McComb fighting for a quick play of the ball and gets it Inman finds Saltonstall good yards there from Saltonstall takes Halifax past halfway that's a better run, that'll do him some confidence there. He's asking for a penalty, it's not coming. Dinman finds Eden, runs across field looking for a gap, but Dewsbury have dealt with him well all day. Inman waits at dummy half, finds Wood Burn all, hands it on to Lannan, and Lannan attracts three Dewsbury defenders. And he'll just take his tackle. 25 metres out from the line. Inman goes blind onto Kavanagh. Kavanagh just takes it straight and hard, makes some good yards inside. Jewsbury's 20. Last tackle here for Fax. Keys goes back on the blind side. Throws a dummy. Still going, Joe Keys. Going towards the line. And just sure, hands it over. But it's not that bad. Just to turn the ball over. Eight points in front. Four minutes to go. Jewsbury 10, Halifax 18. And challenging Jewsbury to score twice. First from 100 metres as Inman big hit there from the youngster Bibby met well there by G where this blind side Greensmith well dealt with there by Tibbs by McComb sorry
Turner. Long ball out to Rush. Further on, long ball out. That looked forward. That did, and it is. It was nearly offside, it was that forward, that pass. And Ifax let off the hook there, and they'll look to finish with a flourish. Scrum down, 20 metres out, centre field. Will the Panthers well and truly put this game to bed? Keys feed the scrum, Inman finds Widdop, takes to the line, steps inside Gareth Widdop. But well dealt with by the Jews defence, they can't put him down, so just held him where he stands. Inman waits, finds Lannan, Lannan steps off his left, makes yards inside the Jews 20. Slow play of the ball, lots of messing around at this rook. Inman finds Widdop. Brings on Leroy on the angle. And Leroy is still going, those legs pumping. Held down just short. Inman. Long ball out to Keys. Keys. Further on to Widdop. On to Tibbs. Tibbs gets on Eden on the outside. Eden is just out of the field of play. Like I said before, they've dealt with him really well all game of Dewsbury. He's had no room to move. And it transpired again. And Jews will have a play the ball 10 metres from their own line. As Jewsbury chanting their arm, they've got nothing to lose really. But the fast defence do well. Matty G, who's done a hell of a working defence all game, with another one. As Greensmith takes it further in. Put down by Lannan and Nolly Davies. Here's Bibby. Throws a dummy, but Inman does well. Choose me with the blind side again. Rush. Nice ball out, but it's dropped. And it's another error from the Jewsbury side. And Ifax will get the ball back again. Scrum down, 40 metres from the Jewsbury line. Inman, finds Salt and Stall, Salt and Stall. Takes the ball in, but Jewsbury deal with him well. Number 28, Jack Billington it was. Here's McComb, McComb. Takes up, it's just one man out at the moment for Halifax. They don't need to push it as Davies makes some good yards in midfield. They're stacking it left, looking to finish with a try here, Halifax. Keys back on the inside to Widdop. Great tackle down low there by the Jewsbury man, Curtis Davies. Here's Keys, lovely grubber into the in goal area, but well dealt with there by Lewis Carr on that wing. A shot there from Inman. As the clock is at 40 in the ground. But game carries on. As Carr again. Left hand carry, big right hand fend. Dealt with well there by Ali Davies. Here's Whiteley. Wildly put down by three fax defenders in the shape of Lannan, Inman and Leroy. Here's Curtis Davies. On to Collinson. Finds Rush. Out of the back to no one. He's going to go out in a touch. And that is Jewsbury's last chance gone. And all the will have one more set of possession here. And play the ball. 20 metres out from the line. Can we finish with a score here? The game looks to be won 18 points to 10 with the final hooter coming any second now. 
as Widdop hands on to G and G stopped by three Dewsbury defenders inside the 20 slow play of the ball Inman finds Leroy Leroy charges at that Rams defence put down by three they stack it on that left hand side again Inman finds Keys. lovely dummy out to Woodburn all oh, and there is the flourish that we went to finish with what a try there brilliantly worked and James Woodburn all goes over for his third try of the season and that seals an opening day win for the Panthers as the final Uta goes in the background lovely approach play Joe Keys with a lovely double pump and then Woodburn all finishes off off the try leaving Gareth Widdop with the conversion attempt with Louis Frey off the field Kelly Notch his first points for his hometown club <laughs> 22 points to 10 with a kick to come can Widdop make it 24 Widdop strikes it well. The fans on that far side will tell you that Gareth Widdop has notched his first points for his hometown club with the final act of the game. And Ifax victorious in the first round of the Betfred Championship 2024 season with a 24 points to 10 win over the Dewsbury Rams. Louis Jufray with two tries, three goals. Joe Keys with a try from dummy half and then Woodburn all right on the final Uta finishing off a, a lovely move with Gareth Widdop converting for a first round victory for Halifax here at the Flair Stadium it's Dewsbury Rams 10 Halifax Panthers 24